Hey, my name is Jim McLaren. Today we're going to look at the Work Pro 12 in 1 ratcheting screwdriver. Here's the model number W021483. Bought off Amazon for I think $21.99. First thing I notice about this thing is indicating here, so forward and reverse, you can see the indicating uh, where you click it. Uh, the other thing I noticed the clicking mechanism here is kind of unique. And the other thing I noticed there. They don't have a magnet inside here. Magnets, all the bits are magnetized. So we'll take a look at this today. The six quarter inch hex bits and one in the, in the actual screwdriver. Here's what you get. Four millimeter, uh, five millimeter slotted. Phillips one, Phillips two, Phillips three. Uh, Robertson one, Robertson two, Robertson three. Torx 10, 15, 20, 25. And it is made in China. Another thing I noted about the Work Pro has got six bits, five here, and then one in the actual screwdriver here. But all these screwdrivers have bits, but they all have to have the bit stay in them. Even the Pickwick has to have a bit on the side here. This has six bits, it has six places to store those bits. To remove from the package shows a pair of pliers here. You squeeze these two tabs together here, and hopefully it releases the pliers. There's one side. So squeeze those two pieces together. There. released so they just squeeze those two together and it releases the screwdriver from the packaging so to get these bits out we're going to have to cut that out where I use our work pro killing knife here Get our bits out of here, and they're got a bit of oil on them here. These bits are magnetized. Here's the Robertson one. So they are magnetized. The bits are magnetized, not the inside of the screwdriver. So the length of the uh, bits, I would say. About three and a half, double sided, magnetized. Here are your six bits. You get a four millimeter, five millimeter slotted bit. S1, S3, that's a Robertson one, Robertson three. You get a Phillips two, a Robertson two, or an S2. You get a Phillips one, Phillips three. You get a Torx 10, Torx 15, Torx. 20 torques 25 double-sided all magnetic this screwdriver with the bit in it is about i would say nine inches with a bit in it now one of the features i liked about this you don't have to store the bit in it you can store it in the handle here six six double-sided bits stored in the handle you don't have to leave it in here so let's put the bits in the handle here this is uh so this is not magnetized in here the collar that you pull back that releases your bit here and now we'll measure it see without the how long it is without the so it's about oh, six and three quarters without the bit in it so let's put the bits inside here there's six of them go inside here and uh you slide in there nice it's not a real tight friction fit here that's one of the things I like about this screwdriver. It stores all the bits inside the handle. So when you store the screwdriver, when you carry it around, you don't have that bit hanging out on this end here. So all the bits are in there. And you can see which ones they are very easily. So it's not going to interfere with your, when you're working with the screwdriver here. And then on the end, you can see all the bits, which ones are on the end here. So. You can see I want the Robertson 2 so I can see in the end that's a Robertson 2 here so you just push it out there it's not in there tight tight it's in there snug 
and then you just put it in the chamber here this is a uh, not magnet magnetic this is magnetic put it in the chamber here now it's in there locked in there there's three ball bearings apparently in this that blocks this in magnetic and here so that's magnetic not inside here that's another thing i like about this screwdriver the magnet's not inside here so if you want to remove the bit here the screw's still holding in that magnet just pull this collar down and you release the bit that easy that's very easy install it here that's in there nice and tight pull back on the blue collar here release your bit So before we get into the features of this screwdriver, uh, I'm going to have two different uh, upcoming reviews, and I'm going to show what the review is coming up partway through the video here, two different reviews coming up in the future. So please subscribe to my channel, and then ring that bell to be notified when I upload those next two videos. I love the Work Pro, the way you can turn the collar. It's big. You can see it very easily. Right now it's lined up with that screw. You can see the screw in the in the collar here. Lined up with this thing. Now that's a normal screwdriver. Now you turn this to the left. Now you're tightening it. And I'll lay it to the right. And I get this thing in. So very easy to position that collar where you want it. So the small bits fit in this thing. Now they don't small bits won't fit on the roll gear or the uh, benchmark. Uh, you have to use a pair of pliers to get them out because the Go down too far inside this one it just sticks out enough just enough you can get it in there and we'll tighten this up here it works good pull the collar back and this out other bits we're going to use we use this nut driver here the quarter inch that'll fit inside that work pro here and they're nice and tight this off my wire mold. This is the plate off the wire mold. This is a ground screw, and we're gonna tighten that up here. Works very nice. Pull that blue collar back, release your bit. This is number Phillips number one, and uh, this is the wire mold. And you're putting this plate back on. See the little bumps in here? You have to put that plate back on and line it up. And it's just enough room to get those plates in there. It's hard to get those those line those things up with a magnetic screw bit. You can line it up here. That's one thing about the wire mold, it's hard to do. Line those screws up. Get that one started here. It's going in. Same with this screw. You see you line it up here. Having that magnetic bit helps a lot to line it up. There you go. This is where that magnet comes in handy here. Like I said in the first part of the video, this video has been coming up in the near future. Comparing the Stanley Fat Max to the Linux, these, both these utility knives have some special features to them. And stay tuned. Watch that video. I'll show you the second video that's coming up there on my YouTube channel. I would even use this screwdriver for doing work on a computer. It's got that magnetic end, makes it very handy. Now, I wouldn't use the ratcheting part of it, so I'm going to tighten this back up. I'll put it in the middle here with just a normal screwdriver here. So, uh, having that magnetic tip makes it easier. Most screws in the computer are small, so you don't want to lose these things. Makes it handy having that magnetic tip. And we just got a normal screwdriver mold here. Then I'll over tighten it. Two screws are a Robertson wood screw, and a, this is a Jip Rock screw or a Sheet Rock screw. So we're going to try both screws here with our ratcheting work pro here. So magnetic end, so start off, you can line it up and place it here. Comfortable handle, 
get some pork into here too. And those bits are not in the way. I like the style of handle. Now to change the bit, just pull down the blue thing, flip it over. This happens to be for the number two Phillips here. Same thing, magnetic. The bits are magnetic. Start this off here. Like way I can put my index finger in here and it, the bits are not interfering. You can get some torque into here. When you get the screw here, you're using jip rock or sheet rock. You can indent that to put your plaster over top of it. So to my YouTube channel, you've heard it, you've seen it, the Tough Build Scrip Utility Blade, pros and cons. Watch the blade here, folks. Push it up, arm of blade. Push it up again, you've got a scraper blade. Push it up, back to normal. Retract the blade. Watch for this future video on my YouTube channel. I really like this WorkPro 12-in-1 ratchet and screwdriver. So many nice features. Yeah. This is just a straight screwdriver. And to, to turn that, it's very easy to turn that. E very easy. And you don't have to struggle with it. Very easy. That's one of the nicest features of this screwdriver. The other thing, it's not magnetized in here. The bits are magnetized. And you can see all the bits in the end of the screwdriver and the side of the screwdriver. And the screwdriver holds these bits Secure in place here. That's not coming out. So if you're tightening something and you pull your, your screwdriver, it's not going to be stuck in the screw. Magnetic end on the bits. That's a very nice feature that I like. To change the bits here, you just pull down the collar, pull it out, put it back in here. It's secure. Lots of nice features. I like the, the grip of the screwdriver. The other thing I like about the screwdriver when you store the bits, you store all the bits in the screwdriver. You don't have to have one sticking out. You can throw it in your pocket or something. You don't have a bit sticking out of here. Lots of nice features. I'll leave the link on Amazon. And I have a quick video on Amazon on, on, on the reviews there. Take a look at that as well. Stay tuned for bloopers. Please give me a thumbs up there. And don't forget, uh, I got other videos coming up. This utility knife. And these other two utility knives from Lennox and Stanley. So uh, please share my video and ring that bell to be notified the next time I upload a video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Watch this for the first time today. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. Have a great one, people. Get the bits out of there. Ah! So quarter inch shank on uh, these bits. Magnetized. Number four, number five, we're gonna sneeze. <laughs> of my YouTube channel. You've heard it, you've seen it. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt.